Uh, hello, good evening. Welcome again to another mathematics session. We are going to continue with solving from two mathematics lecture 2024. And today's session, we have question number eight up to question number 10. Uh, so I'm going straight to question number 10. Sorry, number eight. A. Uh, if triangle PQR and the triangle LOMN are similar, find RQP given that M and L is 40 and QPR is 60. Uh, so if you're going to, if you have two triangles which are similar, and in this case, I will just is catching uh, two triangles. And we know that these two triangles are similar. So this is triangle P, Q, R, and the other triangle is L, M, N. So according to definition of similar triangle, uh, their corresponding angles are equal and the ratio of corresponding size are also equal. So M and L equals to 40. M and L, this angle here is equal to 40. And we are expecting that uh, angle Q RP has to be 40 as well. We were, we were given Q P R, Q P R equals to 60. And so we're expecting also M ln to be 60 degrees. So according to this, we are supposed to find the measure of angle RQP, RQP. So RQP will be taken actually 180 degrees minus summation of those two angles, which is 60 degree plus 40 degree and the RQP then will be 180, 180 minus 100 degrees. And eventually we get RQP is going to be 80 degrees. And actually that will be the same as angle M. So here will be 80 degrees and there will be 80 degrees as well. So that is solution for question number 8A. Uh, we jump into question number 8B. Use the following figure to prove that the triangle ABC is congruent to triangle AED. So we have triangle ABC, AB, ABC, and AED. But we were given that uh this side equals to this side here and if i have to change the color this side equals to this side there so we are supposed to prove now here the solution we are supposed to prove that the triangle abc is congruent to triangle uh, aed and here is proof. Uh, in given information, uh, in triangle ABC and triangle AED, we can see very clearly that the length of angle e side ED is equal to CB. And actually this detail is given. And also you go to side AE, AE equals to uh, AE equals to AB. And actually this is also given information. And We have to find actually the uh, 
the other detail. The fact that uh, triangle AEB is isosceles triangle, so these base angles are the same. And so we can say that AED, angle AED is equal to angle ABC. And this is actually because triangle AEB is isosceles triangle. And if that is the case, it means base angles are the same. So with this detail, we can conclude that uh, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle AED and the reason is side angle side congruence theorem. So we have already proved that these two triangles are congruent of course and it is by using side angle side congruence uh, theorem. And now we are going to proceed with question number nine. And uh, question number nine, party A, is as you see it from uh, this screen here. So a student walks from home to school, first east west to around to a road junction 14 kilometers from home. So a student actually is moving eastward. So we're going to have a journey here. So a student is moving to east 14 kilometers from home. Then southward to school. Then from this point, she'll be moving southward. Here will be school. And actually here is junction. And the distance, if the shortest distance from the home to school is 20 kilometer, they mean here actually here is home. So the shortest distance, uh, the shortest distance, we are talking of this distance here. It is 20 kilometer. How far is the school from the road junction? So we're looking of distance from road junction, uh, road junction to school. And I'm going to call it a distance city. So I'll be using actually high by Pythagoras theorem. We'll be saying that by Pythagoras theorem, uh, if this side is going to be A and this is going to be B, obviously A square plus D square equals to B square. And we are looking for D square, which is actually B square minus A square. So D square will be B square, which is 20 square minus 14 square. We're going to put actually units later on. And so D square will be equal to 400 minus 196. When you subtract here, actually, you get uh, 204, 204 kilometers square. So if it is 204 kilometers square, now the distance D will be equal to square root of 204 kilometer now. And the distance now, uh, we are going to find the square root of 204. And uh, uh, students are not allowed to use calculator, of course. So we find the square root of 204 by using a mathematical table. 
but when you do that you get 14.28 you get actually 14.28 kilometers so that the distance from school to the junction uh, dear students the distance from the junction to school is 14.28 uh, kilometer and that is solution for question number 9a jump into question number 9b question number 9b uh, here it is find the value of 2 sine 60 plus cos 30 minus tan 60 I give you your answer in radical form so uh, these are special angles and actually you have to remember the uh, corresponding values of these special angles so this will be actually equal to 2 sine 60 is root 3 over 2 plus cos 30 cos 30 is uh, root 3 over 2 again minus tan 60 which is equal to root 3 so we simplify actually 2 root 3 over 2 plus root 3 over 2 you'll be getting uh, actually you'll be getting uh, 2 plus 1 will be 3 over 2 here so I'll be taking actually this is equal to 3 over 2 3 over 2 minus 1 root 3 eventually you get uh, 3 over 2 minus 1 you get actually a half so the answer is going to be root 3 over 2 uh, dear students and that is solution for question number 9b so now we have managed to solve question uh, number 9a and 9b and question number 8 and now we are going to, we are going to jump now to question number uh, 10 and actually this is the last question in our session uh, here the question the following figure shows the number of elements in each subset if the number of elements in set a is equal to number of elements in set b find the number of a union b and number of a so you can see from this diagram here we were informed that the number of elements in set a equals to number of elements in set b so from this diagram uh, we translate this information that uh, taking 7 minus 3 x plus x this will be equal to x plus 5 minus x you will now simplify collect like terms so I'll be taking 7 minus uh, 5 7 minus 5 will be equal to x minus x actually you get 0 you have negative 3x plus x negative 2 taken to the other side we get in 2x and so from here you have 7 minus 5 which is equal to 2 equals to 2x and eventually the value of x is going to be 2 over 2 which is equal to 1 if you check the question say that now find the number of a union b number of a union b will be equal to uh, 7 minus 3 x plus x plus 5 minus x 7 plus 5 you'll be having 12 uh, 12 minus 3 x we know the value of x is equal to 1 already so number of a union b equals to 12 minus 3 which is equal to 9 and also we have to look for number of a so number of a from the diagram will be 7 minus 3 x plus x it is 7 minus 2 x now you now x equals to 1 so it is 7 minus 2 times 1 eventually you get 5 so number of a equals to 5 
a number of A union B equals to nine. And now we are jumping to the last part. The given pie chart represents time spent by John in doing different activities uh, in every Monday. So John actually does some activities every Monday and we are supposed now to we are supposed to uh, identify how many hours does he spend on private studies, how many hours does he sleep, find this and other free resources. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so uh, we are going to actually find how many hours does he spend for private study and how many hours does he spend for sleep. So because uh, we are talking of hours and actually a number of hours we have in a day is 24 hours, uh, be f we'll be looking uh, for number of hours for private study and you can see private study there is no degree there allocated. So if I have to call this X, when you add up all the degrees in the pie chart, you have, they have to add up to 360 degrees. So I'll be taking 105 degree plus 90 degree plus 30 plus 60 degrees plus 45 degrees plus X equals to 360 degrees. When you add on addition of these, uh, you're going to add here. As you can, can see in the screen, when you add up uh, these numbers, what you get here, of course, here you have 90. So 90 and 90, it is 180. 180 plus 45, 180. Uh, 180 plus 45, you get 225, you add 105, uh, that will be 330. So 330 degrees plus XC equals to 360 degrees, 360 degrees, and so XC will be 360 degrees minus 330 degrees, so XC will be 30 degrees. So to find the number of hours, to get the number of hours now for part one, uh, number of hours for private studies will be taking 30 degree divided by 360 multiplied by 24. When you multiply, you'll be getting actually a number of hours. So principally, you have 30, you multiply by 24, you divide it by 360, so you'll be getting actually two hours, two hours for sleeping. And number of hours for, oh, I'm sorry, for private studies, and number of hours for sleep, you'll be taking 105, divided by 360 degrees, degrees, multiply by 24 hours, and you multiply by 24 hours. So now you have, actually you have 105, you multiply by 24, and you divide it by 360. Eventually you are going to get seven hours. So number of hours to be dedicated for uh, sleeping is seven hours, dear students. So that is solution for the questions that we had, dear students. We have managed to solve uh, all the questions uh, from this exam, uh, Nectar uh, 2024. Uh, so I think by going through all the videos, and I will drop the link for all the other two videos we had before, so that you can see the overall picture of how we solved the, the questions. I wish all the best in your mathematics learning journey. See you in the other coming sessions. If it is your first time to be here in this channel, of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that we are going to reach as many students as possible. See you in the coming session. Kwaherini.